All right. What's up, everybody? My name is Seth Perler. This is Dr. Sharon Selene. What's up, Hey, everybody. Sharon? Nice to meet you. And we got your site here at drsharonsaline.com. You can check this out, families. And if you like what we're doing at TIFO's, the Executive Function Online Summit, executivefunctionsummit.com, go ahead and share it with some people so that they can find us. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about who you are. So uh, let's start before that even, though, with talking about what are people going to learn from your sessions and why is it important? Mm -hmm. Great question. So we're going to talk about... Um, how to uh, practice um, more validation and less criticism with our kids and how to support them in their efforting. That steadiness of effort, it can be more important than actually achieving a particular goal. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, social anxiety, uh, particularly around uh, rejection sensitivity dysphoria and what that is and what you can do about that as a parent. And then finally, we're going to talk about emerging adulthood and what connected independence means and what it looks like. And when a parent meets you and they find out what you do and they're like, what does that mean? What is your job? What, how do you help students and families? What hats do you wear? How do you respond to that? Well, I kind of work a lot, <laughs> which I think Seth, you know, wear a about. lot of hats. Yeah, where I wear a lot of hats. So I'm a clinician. I have a small private practice. I also offer webinars through my website for parents and for professionals for training. I do trainings for other organizations, whether that's um, Smith College School for Social Work or PESI or your school or your community. You can invite me and I would be happy to talk about any number of topics that I have on my website. I also write articles. And um, in addition to my book and my card deck, and I host a live Facebook uh, session uh, twice a month for Attitude Magazine. And this is a great way to connect with me and to be part of the Attitude community, which is truly fantastic. Um, we, we address issues for adults and uh, parenting issues. Um, so that's really fun as well. And Sharon, what's your why? Why does this matter to you? When did you know that you were going to move in this direction and, and help people in this way? Well, I knew I wanted to be a psychologist because I felt like I was always sort of the therapist person in my own family. And um, over time, as I went through my training and uh, saw clients and had my practice, I was I was working with a lot of kids who had ADHD. And, it, 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 and I realized, oh, this was my family. You know, this was my brother. And then um, I really want what my, my hope is to help people connect more. It's the big C of, of, of my five C's of ADHD, self-control, compassion, collaboration, consistency, and celebration. So I really want to help people be able to stay connected and work with their, uh, their attunement and their attachment to each other and learn the skills of daily living and teach the skills of daily living that our neurodivergent kids so desperately need. And before I ask you like my final, final question, where can people find you? Where's the best way for them to get a hold of you? On my website, www.drsharonceline.com. Also, I'm on a number of social media sites, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. So you, you please reach out and, um, connect with me on any on any of those platforms. And I have a YouTube channel as well, which has lots of videos uh, that um, you can check out on topics that would help you live more fully with ADHD or neurodivergence in your life. And then for my last, last question, there are parents here that really are um, really stuck, don't know what to do, and mm -hmm. things are really hard. They're deeply worried. Is my kid going to be okay? And I know that you had mentioned this in one of your sessions this year, but they're really worried. Is my kid going to be able to make it as an adult? Do they have the skills to become an adult? Um, why should parents have hope who are really, really concerned? Well, that's a great question. And 
I, I know this might sound really trite, but I've been around a long time and I've worked with kids from the age of six through the age of 30, you know, for quite a long time. And what I see is that we have to lean into the fact that development is in our kids' favor, right? That the brain is plastic. It changes and grows with time. And just because someone doesn't know how to do something doesn't mean they're never going to know how to do it. The word that you want to put at the end of the sentence is yet. They don't know how to do it yet. They haven't learned that skill yet. And so we want to help our kids lean into their strengths and understand what some of their challenges are so they can shore them up with support or with some of those strengths that we can use our strengths to help us with um, our challenges. So for example, if you have a child who's late a lot of the time, but is relatively good about having a calendar, you know, how can you keep, use that calendar to assist them with time management? So alarms and alerts, you teach them backwards design. So we want to remember that kids need to learn skills and that those skills take time and it's not a linear progression. You know, you make progress on one thing and then you might, you know, have, have a setback and then you'll make progress on something else. That's part of living. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sharon. Appreciate you. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and sign up and see us on the summit at executivefunctionsummit.com. And you can share this with people if you want. And again, thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you, Seth. Great to be here.